So the dry season is upon us and a lot of people will be looking at this as the best season of the year to build the house. Either you're building a bungalow or you're building a duplex. So in this video today I'll be talking about the materials you need for your next building project from the DPC level to the building walls then to the ground floor and also even to the roofing level. So if you have gotten your piece of land, what does you need to uh, start building in that piece of land? There are some kind of materials and also accessories you need to get before building your next building project. First of all, you have to check for the accessibility of the site. Is the site accessible? If there is no road going to the site, then you have to create a, a pathway or a motorable um, area for, for the materials that will be coming into the site. Uh, secondly, you have to check for the availability of water supply. You need to get a borehole. That means you need, you need to drill water into the site. So that means you, you have to get a generator so that when the water is off, then you can still repump it up. And one else you need for this, you need a, a storage. So when you look on the site, we actually have a, a kind of pump front. We use it as our storage where we keep our materials for, for most of the time. So because this site is located in the interior of of our location that means we cannot actually store our materials here and then the site has been on for over three weeks and you can see the progress we are having on this site so why has the site uh, taking us a shorter time or uh, to complete because we have the basic um, amenities and the materials we have the sand the chippings we have the we have the water supply so all this has added up to making the the building process much easier for so these are the materials we have actually used in building this bungalow in nigeria currently so first of all before building your bungalow we have the six inches blocks which we have used it's actually hollow so for the six inches blocks if you're getting a six inches blocks for one bag of cement, if you're molding it, it will give you up to 30, 30 pieces of blocks. So if you're buying it at the rate of 180 Naira at my location here, so you have to know that you have to multiply each piece by how many pieces of blocks you may need, either for the DPC level or the lintel level or the building walls itself. So we go to the cement. You need the uh, the cement is actually used as a binding agent either for the concrete finishing or you're going to use it as a, as a binding agent which the bricklayers you use to lay the cement. The one else we need on, on building a bungalow, we need the planks. So the plank serves as a form work for most of this um, Form, forming in the sides. When we talk about the lintels, we have the columns. So when you form it, then you pour in your concrete. That is what is called form work. So each piece of plank, depending on your location, costs up to 1,800 for one piece. So depending on how many you may need for your lintels and columns, that's what you're going to get for it. So then we have the bamboo. What is the bamboo used for? So the bamboo is used for supporting the planks for the concrete pressure so that it wouldn't shoot out and also for the rot that will be inside. So what else do you need on building a bungalow in Nigeria? You need your sand. You have the soft sand. You need to get the soft sand. The soft sand actually now is 22,000 Naira on a tipper tipper of truck yeah so after getting your sand you can also get the river sand we have the river sand which is selling at the rate of 30,000 naira now and then we have the shippings the shippings for a tipper of it is 150,000 naira so what else do we have we have the 12 mm rods the 12 mm rods is used for the columns and also in the in the lintels so the price of the 12 mm rod in Nigeria currently is 4,800 and then we have the Y8 which is used as the ring which is going around the 
uh, white wealth. So the price for that one is actually 3,000 Naira currently. So these are the materials you need for a building, any type of building, which is a bungalow, a standard one in Nigeria. So if you add this up, you get how much you are going to spend, which I have given you the price already in this video. So you know exactly how much your engineer is giving you, if he's overcharging you, you check the price and check the current price also in your location and also uh, you know what to do from there. So if you found this video useful, I would like you to subscribe into the YouTube channel, uh, also like the video and share the video to your friends and family. Um, thanks for watching, have a nice day and God bless you.